Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video of Android Jetpack components. So in this video, we are going to see what is two-way data mining in Android. So two-way data mining is one of the best thing in Android. So first of all, let's see a demo of the application which we are going to create. So you can see I open my phone and this is the application which I am going to create. So by default, it contain an edit text and it contain a text view. So by default, I simply type here I, I am Brijesh. So now let us suppose if I am typing something here, you can see the text view is updating automatically and I don't write any Kotlin code. I don't write any Java code for this and it is completely live data. That's why it is updating automatically. So you can see this is very amazing thing and you can implement this thing in a very easy way. So we are going to explore this is known as two way data binding. So we are going to explore this thing in Android. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video. So first of all, simply open your Android Studio and I am going to create a new project. So file, click on new, new project and, and select empty activity, click on new and give any name. So two way data binding and select the language Kotlin. You can implement in Java. It is your choice and now click on finish. So it will create this project. So first of all, let's design the layout of this. So before designing any layout, let's add a dependency for our. So we are going to use data binding, view model and live data, all these things in, in the single application. So first of all, we have to add a data binding here. So build features and then you have to type here data binding equal true. Then click on seek now. So it will add this dependency. Now we are going to use view model. So I am going to copy the dependency from my previous project. You can type this dependency manually or you can take this dependency from Android website. So you can directly paste this dependency here and click on sync now. So dependency set up correctly. So let's design the layout first. So quickly design the simple layout because we need only a text view and edit text. So first of all, delete this and change this to constraint layout to relative layout. And now we need edit text here. So simply take an open bracket, type here edit text, set the layout with match and wrap content and give the margin. So I give the margin 20 dp and then after this you have to give any id. So I give id edit text. You can give any and then close this. Now below this what I need, I need a text view. So text view, match and wrap content and layout below and edit text and id. I simply give the ID name here text view. So first of all, if you don't check the video of it is showing error, delete this. So first of all, if you don't check the video of data binding, then please check out the data binding video and it will going to very helpful for you if you want to understand this concept concept completely. So I also adding a margin 20 dp and also add a padding 10 dp. It is fine and give any text size. I think 15 sp is fine. So now first of all we have to change this layout to our data binding layout so right click here and then you click on show context option convert to data binding layout so you can see now this layout is successfully convert to data binding layout we now we have to create a view model class to show your data on our edit text and also to show data on our text view so right click here and then you have to click on new then you have to click on kotlin class file and give any class name so i simply give here main activity view model that's it now this class should extend view model if we want to use view model here. So view model take two braces. That's it. Now, if we want to use two way data binding, let us suppose I want to display the same data on both of them. So first of all, I have to take a variable inside our view model class. So you can give any variable name. It is your choice. So I simply type here val and the variable. I simply give the variable name username. You can give any and the type of the variable is mutable live data, mutable live data. And inside this you have to pass the variable type so it is string then take two calibrations now it is your choice whatever you want to store by default in your edit text and so I simply take an init block here so you can set anything by default so I simply type here high tech projects so you can add anything if you want to show anything on your by default on your text view and also on edit text now how to access these variables inside in the inside this XML so for this you can see I, this is the data layout tag present here. So first of all we have to take a variable here. So take a open bracket type here variable. Simply give the variable name. You can give any variable name. So I simply type here my view model and then you have to give the type of the variable. So you have to type the exact name of your model class. So com.example dot main activity view model this one. Now you can see this is added successfully. Now on edit text what I want to show. By default what I want to show on the value which is present inside this username variable. So for this I have to simply type here text and here you have to type here at the rate 
and inside this two curly braces simply type here my view model dot username you can see i am able to access this now you can you have to type the same thing here because we want same thing on both our edit text and also on our text view so now this is done now we have to simply write the code inside our main activity to access these thing otherwise it will not going to work so simply type here private let in it where and simply give any variable name i simply give the binding and it is activity main binding so i already explained these all things how this binding object is creating in data binding lecture so you can check that and also we have to create a object of variable of view model so simply type here view model and this is the type of this main activity view model now we have to instead of this set content view we are going to use data binding so delete this and we can directly type here binding equal data binding util dot and simply alt import this and dot set content view this and r dot layout dot your activity main that you want to bind now observe this we have to provide the view model to provider of this so view model provider and inside this we have to pass the context and then we our new model class name so get main activity view model colon colon class dot java this is done now after this we have to simply add our view model to our binding object so binding dot my view model you can see this is this is the variable which i want to access because i want to access my new model class from our directly to xml so that's why you have to type here this name so you have to type here binding dot view model inside this what i want to store view model this variable name and then at last you have to simply type here binding dot life cycle owner and in equal this that's it you can see we simply write the code in directly call this function from our xml and we are simply write this simple line and we don't write anything inside our xml or inside our kotlin file still it is going to work but if you try to implement using in normal way then it will going to take lots of code to update a text view if user typing any something in text id text so you can see this is very amazing thing to be data binding one thing i forget to tell you is come inside your activity main xml file so if you want to bind the text view then you have to simply type here at the rate my mural dot username but if you want to take a value from our edit text then you have to also add a after at the rate you have to add a equal symbol here so otherwise it will not going to work so simply add a equal symbol here so let's run this app whether it is app is working or not so let's run this so you can see app is built successful and it will going to install our application so now application installed successfully so let's add something here inside our edit text so you can see if i type here subscriber it is automatically updating in text view so this is very amazing thing and you will i hope you learn something new in this video and if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the channel if you have any question comment down below and if you don't like the video then please like the video so thank you see you soon in next amazing video of android architecture component